Hi everyone, welcome to Make Me Fab. I know it's been forever since I've been here. Happy New Year to you guys. Um, I hope this year ends up being amazing for you. Um, I just want to thank some of you for checking up on me on Instagram, here on YouTube. I'm fine, I'm well. I've not really had the time to film as much as I would love to. I've just been occupied with other things. But I really want to be consistent, more consistent this year. I will try my best. I don't just do YouTube, I have a full-time job and also I have other commitments so it's kind of difficult getting out videos as much as I want to. Um, anyway, I just pray 2015 ends up being amazing for you and I'm so glad to be back. You guys have no idea. Today's video, I'm gonna, my first video for 2015 will be a whole video. I did pick up a few things over the past months that I've been away. I've not been shopping that much because I'm not about that shopping life. I do have goals to achieve and I'd rather put my money into those goals as opposed to buy a whole bunch of things that I don't really need. Not that I won't be shopping, I sure will, but not as much as I used to. Anyway, so I'm just gonna get into the whole video. So I'm gonna start off with these two products. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I really love this product. If you watch my videos, you know that I use these all the time. I have this in NC45 and I also have this in NC50. I use the lighter one for highlighting under my eyes and I use the darker one for my dark spots. So I had to get these again because I ran out and I just had to pick this up. The next thing I'll be showing you is this foundation. This is the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I am in NW46. I had to get this foundation again because I ran out of the one I had. I really like it. It gives you a full coverage and I've just been enjoying this foundation. I still love my Mary Kay foundation but sometimes I love to switch it up and use this foundation. I really want to try the Lancome foundation. Unfortunately, they don't have all the shades here in Australia. So usually with complexion products, I usually order from the US. I am an NW46 and I'm not sure what shade to go for in the Lancome foundation. I'm leaning towards um, the 430 suede. So if you use um, the Studio Fix Fluid foundation and you're an NW46, and you know your shade in the Lancome foundation please leave a comment down below because I really want to pick up that foundation I've seen loads of good reviews about that particular product the next product I'll be showing you is this palette this is the MAC conceal and correct palette in dark this arrived yesterday I've always wanted this for a very long time as soon as it came in I was so excited I had to dip my brush into this orange shade this is the main reason why I picked up this palette even though I'm excited about other colors as well um, I'm really excited about this really dark color the orange shade is really good for correcting your skin tone before you apply your foundation. It's so good for that. This would be so good for contouring because it's super dark. And of course, I use these other shades as well. So yeah, I'm so excited about picking up this product. I can't wait to use it a lot. The next product I got is by Benefit. This is the Professional. I really love this primer. I've been on a primer kick because I wasn't really satisfied with the primer I had. I used to use the e.l.f. one and I used the Mary Kay one. I also used the MAC one as well and I didn't really like it. So I really wanted to try this out and I am loving this primer. This is all free and very lightweight so it's it, it does a very good job. Another primer I picked up is the Becca primer. This is the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I picked this up in December and ever since I picked it up I've been using it so much. I really really love this primer. Anytime I use it I notice that I'm less oily. I have very oily skin and this helps with it. So these two primers I'm really really satisfied with them. They do such an amazing job. I picked up this lipstick from MAC. This is called Pink Plaid 
and this is just a beautiful pink lipstick i really really love this it's matte as well so um it lasts for a very long time i love the matte formula from mac so i picked this up so excited about this this is gorgeous 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 the next product I'll be talking about are two eyeliners I picked up. I picked up Smolder by MAC. This is an eyeliner and it's just a basic black eyeliner. It's very dark so I picked this one up. And I picked up Current Lip Liner by MAC. I used to have this lip liner and I couldn't find it for some reason. I don't know where I put it. I lost it. So I ended up picking up another one. I think this would be so beautiful with the lipstick I picked up it's just a very nice wine color that's what it looks like and it's just really 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 nice I picked up a couple of things from NYX I picked up this jumbo eye pencil in milk this is a very good base for your eyeshadows and also I picked up a sharpener as well because this is very good for regular pencils as well as um, the jumbo pencils so I picked up these two things from me. The next product I'll be talking about is this glitter I picked up from MAC. This is in Reflex Antique Gold. I love this glitter because um, it's not too chunky. Um, that's the good thing about it. But at the same time, it's not too small that it's like a pigment. It's just the right size. So I really, really love this. I can't wait to do a tutorial using this glitter on my channel. Be on the lookout for that. The last few things I picked up are from MAC and they are from the Holiday Collection. If you watch my channel, you know I love two collections from MAC. The other collections I don't care much about, but I love the Summer Collection. The packaging is usually on point. And also I love the Holiday Collection because they give me good value for money. So the first thing I picked up from the Holiday Collection is this. Look at the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. I love the way it looks. I'll definitely be keeping this and using this for storage on my vanity. I think it's just so, so beautiful. And it's also very steady as well. So I love this. This is the lip gloss set in nude and coral. Look at the colors it comes in. So beautiful. It comes with three cream sheen glasses and it comes with a dazzle glass. If you compare the price of this set to the price of getting one cream sheen glass, you will see that this is so, so worth it. So this is the next thing I picked up. This is the gold beige pigment and glitter set. This is what it looks like. Love the packaging as well. Very steady. We'll be keeping this. Won't be throwing this away. These are the colors. It comes with four pigments and one glitter. Love pigments. I love the intensity it brings when you use it on your eyes. And also, I just love the size of this compared to the regular pigments you get at MAC. The regular pigment comes in a much bigger jar and I find that you hardly, hardly finish it. You, you wouldn't even get to half of it. Even this, it's so difficult finishing it because you just need a little bit and a little bit goes a long way so love love this i love the colors as well i also picked up another set this is the one i picked up beautiful as well um this is the pigment and glitter set in pink and rose this is the one i really wanted because i just love the colors here i love this particular pigment i think it's called heritage rouge i really really love this i also love all these other pigments as well it comes with four pigments and one glitter i'm not really a fan of the glitter but i just really love this good value for money as well so that's it for my haul i really really hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions of course leave them down below thank you so much for watching and until next time bye